It's like, let's put that on hold. If you're a good promoter, you'll figure out how to sell. Yeah. You just will. If you're a promoter, use Dana's term. You'll bring in the bells and whistles. But let's give everybody a chance, the same way the Olympics Games does. You know, let's anybody that thinks they're our best, raise your hand. Let's get in here and figure it out. Now, we're going to have to have a lot of events. We're going to have to work. But let's get a system in place, and let's figure it out. Boom. Here, you'll note you have a Kronos, a Medusa, and of a Mana, all three characters looking to auto-attack in the endgame. So things like uh, Frostman Hammer, Midgardia Mail, Runic Shield are all much, much stronger. Why are you mad, bro? Because you're full of shit and everybody knows it? Is that why? It's such a travesty The way you say our love should be It's such a tragedy Think you can just break my heart and leave me Well, you better run now Man on the run Tons of Midgardian males. These are the items I want to see picked. I don't know about this comp. They have very, very little magic damage. Uh, items like Midgardian male are going to shut this comp down super hard. I think Eslam's going to have This allows in the early game whoever Eager plays for Solo to build into Frostbound and Midgardian male and affect the rest of the team so dramatically. Although I'm a little worried about the Kronos pick, considering they had Kali and Chiron already, and then Bologna, who functions pretty well with auto attacks as well. They've built a, a team that is not going to function well against things like Runic Shield, this, for this. instance. But at the same time, Frostbound, Runic Shield, Witchblade. Guys, this is uh, America. We don't go to draw. We play for keeps. We play for somebody to get their hand raised. Guys, if you don't know, you damn sure should know. On July 17th, Submission Underground is invading Portland, Oregon's Roseland Theater. Now, tickets are... These guys sitting around all these guys sitting, sitting around here talking about what they're gonna do hey this is a show uh, talk is cheap you want to do something hey we can do something right now hey it's a hell Let's of an see idea something right now guns are talking all that guns are talking all that noise about him being 300 pounds hell i'm 300 pounds too i'm i'm ready man i stay ready i've been ready i am ready Okay, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. I'm gonna keep it clean. At this time, you can touch gloves. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I love it, Herb. Great ad lib. Or not. What happened? Something has come to me. Something has come to me. It's probably my own energy. I got to get it. There you go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> That's a strong ass wrist right there. And there are people say it's all it's it's just it's all about fun. All, all about making fun. I mean, if I kill you in game and I own you, who's having fun? You or me? Bracken going into the solo uh, because that generally is going to be the flex now that Ymir has been locked in. We can pretty uh, confidently say that it's going to head over to Jake in the duo lane. So it's either clean a jungle with Bracken soul. He said you did things that were not fair and according to the according to the rules. Is that true? I fight the wind. What kind of stuff was he talking about? I don't know. He said I hit him low. He had his short up to his throat. <laughs> I'm 
missed out. I just uh, I had a hard time. You know, I was real upset. I got fighting with, uh, you know, um, fighting. You know, just fighting with everybody about getting getting the right sparring. But that's the thing. You know, I I just uh, there's people that I ain't get. You know, they're not taking care of me because they're not compensated. You know what I mean? My team needs to be compensated, and the people around me. Um, you know, they're not getting nothing out of it. No, they're not getting no, no air time. They're not getting, <clears throat> they're not getting paid like they should. My sparring partners in not getting paid like they should. And it, that's right. No, but that's why nobody wants any part of this. They don't want to help me train. Um, they're not getting nothing out of it. And I don't blame them. And, and uh, nobody, nobody, uh, it's hard to find sparring nowadays, these days, you know, they, nobody's ready or, or, you know, they, they got to, be in the, the best condition or whatever before they want to come in and work out with me now because everybody's intimidated or the trainer that tells them no no you you know you can't that ain't good for you going there and spar with that guy so you know these people ain't gonna do this stuff I ain't gonna be able to get the training I need unless uh, these people start you know we, you know unless these people are, are are compensated for what their their efforts and what they're doing to uh, you know help me. Hey hey guys so today let's talk about supporting you know how to build supports you know what is the most important thing when it comes to building support items you know is to check you know how many physical and how many magical gods do both teams have but again we have three physical auto attackers this time on the side of eager envy able to counter pick very well Bologna looking for frostman hammer no matter what so it's surprising to see someone build another auto attacker into a direct counter let there be light your mom's a poor little thing <laughs> I know you have my undivided attention. By the way, which one am I talking to? Who's the boss? Well, I'm the oldest. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Are you laughing at my brother? Right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you, because you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. I want to know what you want. I'm gonna use a few examples from these uh, SPL games, okay? From this example, we can see that you know both teams have three physical gods. So items like Sovereignty, uh, Witchblade, and Shogun Kuzari are really, really good, okay? And as you can see, you know Fafnir actually got Shogun Kuzari, which is very, very good. And I assume the next item was probably Valor for cooldown. Around me are familiar faces, worn out. Familiar boots. <laughs> they really are doing oh, it. Yeah, Fantastic. It's going to be a challenge, of course, for Titan. As you can hear, the crowd getting absolutely crazy here for both teams. But, you know, I know a lot of people in here are cheering for Cog Prime. They want those boys to bring it home. But you know what, though? The jungler and start getting off like... We the, all know here, what the so be able to do. What if Sir Ket doesn't get banned, which, we, which we're going to go into and pick some bans here for game number three. Cognitive Prime up 2-0 against Titan. And Thor, good team fight initiation, backline damage. They need a strong late game carry. And now this is where it comes down to. Do you pick the Rama into this? Or, yep, there you go. Adaraxia with the Rama's locked in. So now they have a strong dual lane that scales well to mid to late. And but on Adaraxia, who dodges forward? I don't think Cognitive can find any more out of this. Oh, they're trying though. And he goes down, Adaraxia, finding the bait, and now a <laughs> target quiet warlock. Kill him. <laughs> the MMORPG market with its humble beginnings needed to craft a combat system that could properly hold up netcode wise. Action combat systems simply wouldn't have worked realistically with the aging tech of the first couple of MMOs. But as technology advanced, we still find ourselves held hostage by the tab target combat system. Nearly two decades later after it was first implemented, the tab target system is still the most prevalent combat system. There are a couple things that demonstrate a tab target system. I will explain what features you would commonly find within. I will also detail a number of reasons why it's both good and bad for the genre. So now he's going to short the bombs, which means to bet against. Got it? Good. Now fuck off. It's only a matter of time before someone else
Uh, I want to see some attack speed oh, no, reduction coming out here. We see a Steel Mail coming out from Athena. Hopefully that's not a Sob. I definitely want to see that attack speed reduction come out, given the fact that Marauder's auto-attacking with that Frostbite Hammer. Uh, Kali, of course, is almost all auto-attack. Uh, I want to see some attack oh, no, speed once. reduction coming out here. We see a Steel Mail coming out from Athena. Hopefully that's not a Sob. I definitely want to see that attack speed reduction come out, given the fact that Marauder's auto-attacking with that Frostbite Hammer. Uh, Kali, of course, is almost all auto-attack. The reason why I'm here is because I earned it. Nobody has given me anything. You know, I make this position. I made myself here. I earned it. We're going to try to extend the Francis and Gano Foundation across the country. I mean, do this guy really thinks just because he has a lot of YouTube views, just because he has been on SPL and got a lot of views, that he's somehow better than us who actually, you know, worked for years and years to be the best? We'll see about that, you know? He uh, isn't the only one who actually loves this game. I've never seen a paladin or, or, or it's not possible. I normally never take my time because there are a lot of loops on the track, so I don't want to spend my time with those guys. And I just post and all the low rate loops start to. They, they don't start to, 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 to 15, 15 pages, more than 10,000 views. And like, and like that, it's because they know I, I'm good. I'm going to start a PV, a leap PV, PV with skill. You got a gift, my friend. You got a gift. Oh, yeah. You saw that there was something that I was trying to do, and you you figured that out. That's why you are who you are. The UI. おお、ジェノス。終わったから帰ろうぜ。よし。よ、ちょ、待ちなさい。ハゲ、ハゲ、タコ、ゆでたとこ。天気は僕と間抜けろ。ジェノス。おい、クソガキ。黙って撃せろ
Tom. Jack, you're a grown man. You have control over your own words. You're goddamn right I do. So here come two words for you. Shut the fuck up. The UI. That's fucking illegal. The speed I dispel, if someone gets shit, you don't even notice he gets shit because I dispel him so fast. I mean, if I make it and I play 152, I get more than 1400 rate. And then he's gonna come talk to me to say, ah, I'm like a bug. Hear my every thought. Catch my desire. So like a bullet shot. Find me in the night. We'll paint the morning sky. Be forever mine. Make me come It's a 5v5 traditional MOBA game mode that is our most competitive. <laughs> in charge of this stuff lack creativity and are completely out of ideas. So all they do now is recycle shit from the past. Holy shit, dude, is that a meme? And he don't even make I a will. counter offer. Where's his respect? I have no way of knowing what kind of advice he's getting from you. Johnny. Johnny's always usually a voice of moderation. Me and him, we get along good. So all due respect, let's not jump in and blame Johnny. True, John's a pragmatist, but he's also a greedy motherfucker. Lives above his head a little. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck is this cunt? Fucking turn this shit off, we're gonna put some real shit on, bro. Yeah, cunt.
you kidding me? Nobody who done it right but me and him. So I know my man's a gangster, but what you wanna do? He ain't wants to see a pose down right here, right now. Who's got the guts? My prisons, my charismatic prisons makes them, makes them, makes us win. They see Athena is in the game, they just start to play 10 times better, it's just like that. Look. You have a Kronos, a Medusa, and a Vimana, all three characters looking to auto-attack in the endgame. So things like uh, Frostman Hammer, Midgardian Mail, Runic much Shield better. are all much, much stronger. Get alive or whatever, while I kill them in game. I kill them in game and they say go get alive. I mean, they should get alive in game. If you we know who moves needles and who doesn't move needles. If Nate Diaz was a massive needle mover, he was just asking me, how about Lorenzo getting? Yeah, we'd, we'd have called him. He'd be on the phone, we'd be figuring it out and we'd work it out. He doesn't move the needle. Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, mother I'm gonna fight your That's it, he's got the chance. Hey, I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, I thought I won the fight, and then they gave it to him. I'm not gonna sound all bitter because it's all good. I got paid. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? This week, I'm joined by guest caster Allied. Hey, David Nance. Hans. <laughs> I think just the time of my uh, in my life that really defines me would be generally traveling. Uh, going to tournaments, so back when I was a Super Smash Bros. player, I would travel a lot, different states, all up and down the East Coast, and just hanging out, meeting the people I met, even just playing with the people I met, having all that friendships and really connecting with everyone. Making something out of nothing, that's kind of like how I thought about it, like, I have nothing, let's make it something. I really, I really learned a lot from just traveling around, I, I really just made me the person I am today. I think just my lifestyle in general, like I've always been a very helpful person. Like I always try to help people out. I always try to be as kind as possible. Like I'm not perfect by any means, but generally I, I always try to give a lending helping hand. Being able to prove to myself that I could be the best at anything I put my mind to really helped me out as a player. And that was like big for me. It's, you get to feel like you're a part of something. You get to feel like you're a part of a community. That's what Smite is like for, right? You get to, you get to be a part of something that's bigger than you. Cool. Do it. Allied's looking for it. Two shots from the sky. Third one's gonna hit. He's trying for it. He's lower. Oh, Allied with the pitch up. That's where things get a little shaky. The good news is chunks of damage there. And that's uh, if you're yeah. ever wondering the proper time to. The gift that keeps on giving is, is pro smite Gorn. We get a fury kill on the panda cat. Then game number one between the Jade Dragon to the Olympus Bolts. The third competitive. Pro smite game we've gotten this year, and Panda Cat has died to the fury, and that's given the bolts some legs to walk forward. Top any kills now, Sam for soccer in on the three man. Fear no evil, but he is that's alone. That's huge. Oh, now he's dead for a minute. So, Virginity, which is also really, really good. The only thing, you know, these two supports are missing is Witchblade. Next example, here we have, let's see, we have Sylvanus and Gemoja support. The only really good item uh, Sylvanus bought was Kronos Crown, you know, which is pretty okay item, but it's still not on the level of Witchblade or Shogun Guzari. And again, we can see that both teams have three physical gods, one mage and one magical support usually. And we can see Witchblade, you know, Witchblade in Gemoja build, which is really good, you know. So against three physical teams, you wanna build Sovereignty and Witchblade. Against three magical teams, you wanna build Runic Shield and Hardware Amulet. And when your team, when your team has like three gods or three physical gods or three gods that rely on basic attacks, for example, in this uh, blue team we have Nike, Gilgamesh, Zeus, and Haim. All these gods rely on basic attacks. So Shon Kuzari would be just insane in this composition. And yeah, you also wanna see yeah, your team. If you have three physical gods, you get Shon Kuzari. If you have three magical gods, you get Void, Void, Void Stone on a Guardian. You know? The usual thing is, you know, let's say, you know. Sit for a while. <laughs> no, and then it was. for like 30. Fucking four, 40 minute games, you know? 
I see more action in EU Arena in 15 minutes. Have you ridden the Goliath? Is that the one that has the 70 meter drop? Yeah, the huge yeah. one. Doug, if you could bring up the, the gold next P-Chart. This is what pisses me off the most, you know. These guys are supposed to be the best, but they barely know how to fucking build, you know. You know, Hunter builds could be better, they don't have flat pin items, first item. Those support builds are absolute joke. Those solo laners didn't buy void, void shield when they have three physical gods in their teams. You know, they buy void stone when they only have one mage. You know, they have double mage, but they said he's building tanky, so only one mage, you know. If he will get Sean Kuzari, that will be three times better. Motherfucker. Balance away. Before you get hit with that, that's when you leash it to your tank. Because yeah. you want to make sure that you're not getting smacked with that if you're a carry. There was a certain point where it felt like it was, you know, you were either full committing or yeah. you were falling. It's just so unfair, you know. We love this game so fucking much, but we cannot even show it because Kairos cannot use his leaderboard, because there is a lack of international EU console and arena fans at SPL. It's basically the same team, the same guys every year, because they don't wanna lose their position because that brings them so much money. Smite SPL was never about best of the best clashing. Smite, Smite SPL is not about best of the best clashing. <laughs> yes, Bill. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> oh my god. Check, 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 check. Gamma earlier on, gotta be getting close. It's a half health, especially three. <laughs> arena, arena means no more about conquest meta than fucking SPL pros, you know, it's so fun, you know, because still didn't buy a single good item, Lamau. <laughs> Jesus, do you ever shut the fuck up? And blow that fucking smoke somewhere else. Lane side of the map. Yarkor is about even with Aquarius, but we're not concerned about the soul lane just yet. Neither one of these guys has rotated He's out, which means that the fights generally will be. Stuff. Holy shit. So that such an out needs such red an red outdated support meta, man. Support means be cringy. <laughs> you get when you has lack and so much competition, it's just whether or not he can find his place. Uh, Witchblade, Stone of Binding, uh, Winged Blade, Valor Shogun is need a support build. You can also add in Void Stone or Contagion. Auras and cooldown basically. As to where they're going to be going in, jumps a little too far, or maybe he's looping around for the back of that Fear No Evil. Either way, wildly out of position by the time the fight keeps going. You see, both of these, you know, hunters have kind of outdated build, okay? Yes, Transcendence is good late game, but you probably want to go flat pin item, first item, because this is best clear. And guys, always go flat, flat pin item, first item, like Yotuns, Yotuns or the Crusher. Flat pin items are broken. And flat pin is best early game. And that's why, you know, both of these uh, Hunter builds are kind of outdated, you know. Like, they should probably go, you know, Jotuns or the Crusher first item. You don't even get me started on those support builds, you know. Uh, I think, yeah, Voidstone is actually quite good on on this uh, mage, you know, because he gets refocused a lot and they have three magicals. But these support builds are totally outdated. And yeah, you, they better off go, you know, you go, you know, support starter, then you go Witchblade, or you can go Valor, Shogun, Kuzari, uh, you can go Stone of Binding instead of Tips, you know, there's so many options, you know. My father was a master stonemason. He never cut fucking wood. Hmm, that's a good good point, but still won't uh, change your game. Those ten prots. So virginity was too late. 
Witchblade, Shogun, Years, Light, Ye Light Years, Better, Auras, and uh, it's why add all fun gun and mirrors back into Mutator rotation, add arena leader board and rewards, and you are on a good way to not die as a MOBA in few years when you actually get competition Witchblade and Shogun is current meta and Valorant cooldown individual instances of CC core for Mike to be able to live through and that and we talk about a if blue team doesn't win soon red team might catch up in levels and get them and both teams didn't buy a single good aura yet what the fuck man <laughs> get relic timer beside maybe con like you're saying earlier i mean this has just been the game plan of the leviathans forever i mean there's a reason that shinto was top gpm by a mile compared to anybody else in the SPL last year. Yeah, surprised that Shito even allows Panatom to have those back. A good counter build for the 3v3, at least to make him and his teammates tankier, and a way to deal with the walls. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's like the easiest be, Phantom be Shell purchase uh -huh. ever. ever. Smite, right? yes. <laughs> Maybe Haddix on Odin instead yeah, is yeah, probably yeah. a little bit easier. Haddix on Odin, and then somehow game. if you could work Yamoja into the comp. Right. <laughs> uh, Ymir or Yamoja mid, which would, would you rather have? I'd rather have Ymir mid. All right, and then Yamoja support might be uh, might be the most Wally type composition you could have. Here's a wall from Awesome. <laughs> Jake catches PBM out. Would love that Phantom Shell right about now. Doesn't end up needing it because the return is here and Lazbra drops. For the second kill this game, the and Jade Dragon if, starting to swing, and unfortunately... If Kabroken is going full damage, he needs to also add in Winged Blade. He uses his wand to go in, but then he also needs summoning to get out. But yeah, if you go Witchblade, Valor, and Shogun Kozari, you have maximum cooldown, 40%, plus you already have two very good, one of two best auras in the game, Witchblade and Shogun Kozari. Plus you have both protections and mana and HP, everything, you know. Or you can go alternative cheap items. Uh, support, starter, Witchblade. Winged Blade, Stone of Binding, Valor, Shogun, or you can just just go Witch Blade, Winged, v Valor, Shogun. Mm. I ironic, isn't it? How? <laughs> yeah, is <isn't> ironic. <laughs> <laughs> On my head, I might be able to just shred Gamma. Simply not the case. Darmic Pillars is dropped, and Aquarius says, Oh, word! That this turn doesn't have Shogun beads anymore. Stygian Torment drops him on the electric the fence. The Bahala right Valkyries now. strike back and take an objective. Not the cleanest Pyromancer I've ever seen, but still, something back for Never the Chaos team. Never buy that gap gain, just a little bit. We still have 20 seconds Shogun. left on Zapman's respawn, and Panatom uh, solemnly and standing Beach nearby Blade just says, yes, sir, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, sir. And that generally is the, the game plan here, but I suppose being level 19, Already in Arena 3 Magical uh, Gods meta, on the rest you of the map. get We even see Panatom got off to a quick start, 6-3-1, but that farm split card. so efficient to go to everyone else, he's maintained just about even with Kirmi, who's 1-2-1, maybe about a half-level lead for the jungler of the Leviathan. This game And even though we see be Benny Q all, here, you know, 20-30 GPM behind, that doesn't seem like a whole lot you take that 30 build, over the course of 20-plus minutes here. I'm not going to try and do the math. And as this game goes on, those 600. numbers... Stone of Binding is that Tips, Shogun, and Witchblade. Void Shield is good. Don't speak like you wouldn't last more than 10 minutes against any good arena player including those SPL pros <laughs> the 
Beach Blade and Shogun Kusari and like competing on Kusari's virginity, you know. So if you play arena, you know, you usually, you know, in arena, if you face three magical teams, you usually wanna build like runic shield or heart or amulet. So against or from the Olympus Wall. Yeah, Yamir is here, you know. <laughs> Best Yamir Ew, but it doesn't really matter. He don't know how to build him anyway. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> High race Rache. Historia needs some time to relax. <laughs> you know, it's typical conquest, you know. Outdated support builds, uh, snowball carry it, you know, each fucking game. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the monkey is always playing. <laughs> the potential to yeah, beat all like, these teams in a row, and then the J Dragons, they swap things out in the mid lane. Could be a uh, different look there. Pagon, brother of Benny Q, by the way. I think that's kind of a fun little fact. Uh, a couple of brothers join the FPL, and they will be playing later in phase one. That's right, and they will be playing it all up against each other. And then phase two, and then phase three, and well, all yeah, but like the first one is like the bad. Ruin, try to. Uh, Shuan Kuzari on Bellona is really good. She don't have any uh, any penetration though. Well, he has uh, yeah this flat pin. It's okay. It's okay, you know. But do you really need so much anti heal? Probably not. Let's see next. Um, this um, Hebo build is okay. Well, yeah, Pires from build is okay. Maybe one Wingle Blade or something would be nice. Something against maybe Valor against three physicals. They only really have one, one magical god they need to worry about. That's Zeus, and you know Gon. You can just take care of Zeus anyway. But he don't have you know that Gon. You need um, uh, like Brawler's beat stick or something flat pin so he can harass this match. You know. But yes, those support builds are absolute joke, and those solo laner builds are average at best. You know. I mean. Uh, this Bellona is pretty okay, but this Guan Yu build, you know, fine okay is so stupid. I'm not sure what he's, he's doing. Yeah, they have level advantage, but their builds could be much better emo. Yeah, you can just check people builds and you immediately know, you know. You don't even need to listen to them, you know. But I expect more from the guys who are supposed to be the best. Dragons will slow down their defense just a bit. Leviathans will slow down their offense just a bit. The same vein as Sam for Soccer being able to one-tap Panatom. Panatom sends a whole heap of damage Sam's way. Balance Play Power helps, <laughs> but Panatom uh, has a Heart Seeker and a Hydra's and a Serrated Edge. Uh, so the Serket has a similar potential to deal massive amounts of burst damage. Left side, Phoenix gone. Mid lane, tier two tower also gone. With 45 seconds left on the Fire Giant buff. Might see a disengage and a reinitiation on the Fire Giant for the Leviathans. Yeah, we're just gonna blame that one on Zapman trolling. Obviously, that's a joke. He did just get picked, so without the ADC of your of your team, you don't really want to go for that objective. 5v4. Best. In that regard, probably could have spelled three Phoenixes down at this point with the lead of the Leviathans have built up. But, I'm just gonna go back, make sure your ADC gets his items online. A full Odysseus bow has been purchased, so that's gonna be stacking those silver, that silver range passive for Medusa, obviously with her one stim. He's already doing crazy damage with the Viper shot on top of that silver range. Just making sure a lot more AoE and those solo laner builds are questionable at most. It absolutely is, and the Jade Dragon is going to be fighting in Void to uh, an even more discrepant item Shogun status or now. Beach play. With, with, with relic upgrades, things like that mm. being being new here, or, or returning, I guess, depending on how long you've played Smite uh, in Season 9. And they Oftentimes, say you know, the, the gold would stop mattering to a certain point. Eventually it does, yeah, of course, sure. when, when every team has everything they upgraded. But so now that timeline's extended. You know. And the blue, red team doesn't have enough damage. Red team lack damage. Blue team can literally just kill that red team mage and their damage is halved in health.
you know they just killed. He's been picked up. They just they, they just killed you know red team um, mage. Yeah, they just killed their mage, and you know you see Achilles is tanky, uh, Iset is tanky. They don't have Shogun, you know, and they don't have Shogun for Uller, Hun, and Achilles. Dude, I, I was actually very impressed uh, with the Jade Dragon's macro play throughout the early portion of this game. Felt like the plan was, hey, where where's Lazbro? Let's make sure he isn't having fun. And Lazbro simply did not have fun. I believe it was like an 0-4 start for the Kabrakken just because Hunbots kept ulting him continually. Uh, and specifically at that 12-minute mark, Pagan made a rotation to save Panda Cat's life where he drops the shell. Uh, just massive plays there. So if we're concerned about Pagan's ability to play at the SPL <laughs> level and, and synergize with this team, that play alone, honestly, I, it's been a while since I got that hype. That, that cemented him in my mind that he's going to have a, a decent transition here to the SPL. But got to give credit where it's due. The Olympus Bolts from the edge and with a godsend, a, a random windfall in a team fight in the late game uh, of Panacat just giving it over. Yeah, Gold Fury MVP for this one. The Olympus Bolt stuck in there the entire time. There was a portion where I really thought the Jade Dragons, they're just in control. They were controlling the, the defensive positioning around the Fire Giant. They had won out in the majority of team fights up until that point. And then one mistake, uh, stop me if you heard this before, will cost you a game at the SPL level. And that's exactly what happens here. I mean, at that point, we are 32 minutes in the game. It's a 2,000 gold difference between them. And, and I think Dolson gave probably the best analogy. It was the Goliath drop of golden XP that went the opposite way there and the Bolts were able to bring this one back mm. and take game number one here. Uh, but I think you're right to highlight, you know, Pagan <laughs> has been the primary <laughs> topic for us at the beginning of this set and it will be, continue to be our topic throughout the entire early lifespan of the Dragons here in Season 9. And, and we've been seeing a ton of these shell pickups from these mid laners. It's not something that was typically picked up by mid. You typically go your, your beads, your Aegis, and then you're done. But over the course of this early portion of Season 9 from SCC, now into SPL, we've been seeing Shell kind of bleed its way through as that second right next to a set of beats for these mids. Shell's just good. Uh, very often you're going to get similar value to Shell, even if you're trading out a little bit more HP, just having that be a defensive relic for your entire team is so impactful. It allows you that, that path of, okay, well maybe I pick up a Phantom Shell if I need it, maybe I pick up like a Hasten Shell and I'm all of a sudden moving faster. It, it, shell is catch-all, I think, probably the best relic in the game besides beads beads is always going to be the best just the ability to invalidate uh, some play from the other team like oh you, you you hit your cc just kidding do it again in like the next minute or so maybe i'll get cc'd shell next runner up and i think masterful usage from pagon and something i'm expecting to see a lot more of that relic is just incredibly strong a little bit of happy cheers from the side of the bolts here especially from barracuda smiling faces across the board as they get ready for game number two as they were kind of handed a victory right at the end there of game number one by way of the gold fury but it doesn't seem to be moving faces <laughs> anywhere across the board here even the dragon's still looking fairly confident you know one one play you, you can't get upset about one play but it's one thing that you don't let linger over your head i mean these are early sets of the year these ones, uh, as previous mentioned these reflect the standings of phase one of the spl so while these ones aren't as important in that instance you do want to you know try and put your best foot forward out here but still happy across the board for these guys though picks and bands for game number two between the Olympus Bolts and the Jade Dragons. Winner of the set moves on to face off against the Leviathans. Losers, well, they don't get much. They get, to, they get to sit back at home and watch as the rest of the teams continue playing on. Hey, that's uh, that's nice too. You know, they, they get to take a little break and save some strategies for the SPL proper once that one starts up. But I'm sure both of these teams would that like to move on and get to test themselves against the yeah, reigning we, world we. champions. <laughs> I think that as far as picks and bans are concerned, even though the Bolts find a win there, I think they're going to be the ones more concerned about adapting to what the Jade Dragons were doing early on in Game 1, because the Jade Dragons were getting the better end of the majority of that early game. Had they been able to transition it a little bit more solidly into objective play or just not dying to Gold Furies, they probably would have been in a much better position. So, if anything, I think we're going to see the Bolts, specifically around the jungle, probably try and shift up that pick. Lazbra really just got accosted throughout the early. It was not a fun start of this game for the Bolts jungler here. But as the first bands come through, Erlong Shen, Gilgamesh, and Kleena. So that's our first Another adaptation to what happened during this set. It's out of the Dragons. But because their first pick, 
They're gonna go for this Ardeo, which which from Final K, from, from all of his content out there, has been saying that this is probably one of, if not the best, gods to be picking up in this lane right now. Suffocate and on the opposite side, fans with the Ulti, the Kepri, Fafnir, and the Raw. But talking about Guardians in the solo, Cthulhu making his way, way back into the meta here, making a nice little rise for these solo laners. Yeah, Cthulhu so early on, though, the I'll answer to that likely going to be Nemesis from the other pain. side. That seems to be the generalized answer to that Descent into Madness. Just strip his defense and kill him while he's a massive target. So going towards Cthulhu this early on might open up that door for the Jade Dragons if they decide to take that pathing. Uh, J-Mac, I want to ask you a question, though. The Bolt's bans, aren't those exactly the bans we saw from the Jade Dragons in Game 1? I feel like that's the exact same. I think that was actually out of The fast players are so... they are so used to level advantage half of them barely know how to be built and there is some truth to that yeah, yeah whatever fuck that huh you think i have gold for that Long. Some guy said he will thank for G, like I have gold for that. Valorita, uh, invite Valorita. Uh, got some, bo some uh, body now, sorry. Got some about I didn't for five minutes, but now I got like. This Ymir is going Tibes instead of Stone or Binding or Witchblade or Valor or Shogun, so it's already bad move. <laughs> Sorry, the emphasis, oh, the yeah. call out. Come on! Ymir, well, it was funny in the Witch, player camp, you Witch see Barracuda Blade. throwing those hands up. We want to get in the game, we want to look at these teams. As they're gonna look <laughs> in season nine, but yeah, Yamir with Witchblade, you know, so you slow down everybody around you. So you slow down everybody around you. You don't need leap when you can get movement speed. By the way, Witchblade plus Winged Blade, and you golden. Maybe he is sick with Yam Yamir, but his build already shows he don't know Mita. <laughs> it's 
stone of binding or beach blade is better tips. Tibes is too slow for this meta. And even once you stack it, you only you don't get good aura or cooldown. Ten protections is nothing compared to to Shogun 30% attack speed or Witch Blade minus 5% attack speed. <laughs> nah, you need to get close with full damage build. You will get melted. <laughs> Time it comes up until he lets level 12, they can run it again. They've got at least two to three alt cycles on the dragons that Lazar is going to be eating. And for Arena. Beach Blade, Winged Blade, Blade, Valor, Shogun, Void, Stone, Contagion. Here, support meta build. Now you have chances to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't go with Tavis and Prede in every game. <laughs> outdated support build that been outdated for a couple seasons now. Man, imagine to bet your skills I'm that good. <laughs> oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I would do DM Brandon joke here, but I still feel like you did him unfair. If you go Transcendence against, against any hunter that goes blue stone and Yotuns, he would get out cleared early. And 
card ward amul amulet is okay against three magicals but runic shield on achilles would be better tagion there's being a and void stone and even that vo void stone is kind of bad signs they only have two magical gods important no. that let's see they have they have a set who is building tanky and <laughs> even a set is building tanky showing kus Kusari would be ins insane in their team. 30% at, uh, attack speed for your whole team. And they don't buy it. What the fuck? And not one solo laner didn't buy Void Shield. Why? Or. Execute. Okay, maybe for maybe okay for blue team since only two physicals, but still. Yeah, I'm tired now. Shell had 20 seconds before he comes back. Like 20 uh, seconds. Yeah, the thing is, these guys are so used to being carried by snowball, they don't barely know how to build. The problem with conquest is not ju is that these guys are so used to being carried by level advantage, they know very little about item and counter building. That is why there is more counter building in arena, for example. Seconds from now, and Mike is able to at least walk away towards his team. Uh, now, no, just a free kill for them. The frenzy. Look at these support builds, you know. They really think these 20 protections from the virginity in taste will make any difference. No, it won't. You better off going cooldown and uh, good towers like Witchblade or Sean Kuzari. Please just buy Shogun. Kusari and Vigblade next time. So support means boom boom face palm. My grandma is for face palm. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Ask what's Because when I talk through the day, ban my dualities account, that is why. And now that I explain that to you, there is possibility this one gets to. That is why. You you think I I load making arts or what? <laughs> of course I don't. <laughs> Unless you're gonna get good walls like that from Jake, where you can really kick things off. Whoa. All of a sudden you lock down everybody. That's a big wall from Lasper in the back. We need DM Brandon casting so somebody could talk about Mita beside me <laughs> three members of the J Dragons locked in place but has Lasbra and Sam for soccer ha like I said if those two teams had actual had actual good support builds, this game would already be over. Witchblade and Shogun. Mm.